Hello creators, in this tutorial I will show you how to import our mesh created in Marvel's Designer, optimize it and export using IMVU Toolkit. So as always click on File and New. And now click on IMVU Toolkit icon and let's add clothing to so create clothing and let's choose female in our case. Let's just enlarge our viewport and we can import our mesh. To import just click file and import. Now let's choose our t-shirt from Marvel Designer. So this one is obj file. Double click, hit import and we just imported our t-shirt to 3D Studio Max. Hit F4 to see the topology of the mesh. For now we can just hide the toolkit because we are not going to use it. We are going to optimize our mesh. Now select your mesh, click on element and select mesh again and click show normals. This will show you if your normals are facing correct way. In this case we have normals facing correct way. If not you can always flip them, flip them here or you can also right click on your mesh, convert to editable poly and then you can go to element and flip normals here you can also select faces and flip them you can also check normals by clicking X view and face orientation in this case our normals are correct so we can proceed to optimize our mesh creating garment in Marvel's designer is quite easy but as you can see topology needs improvement there are several ways how to do this, but I will show you a few of them. One way is to weld vertices. So click on the vertex here. Now choose vertex you want to weld, click on it, right click, target weld and again click on the vertex, drag, you will see dashed line and click on another vertex you want to weld or merge. And you have to repeat the steps for the entire mesh. This way you will optimize your topology. Another way works best when you have symmetrical mesh just like this t-shirt. You will have to optimize only one side of the mesh and then apply symmetry modifier from the modifier list. Choose symmetry. And as you can see, it copied one side to another one, which is fully optimized. Now remember, this will destroy your UV mapping, so you will have to just recreate it again. To show you another method of retopologizing a mesh, I will have to switch to another version of 3D Studio Max, so see you there. I switched to 3D Studio Max 2021 as this feature is available from this version and above. So now select your mesh, go to modifier list and search for retopology. Select it and you will see um, new options. So. We can choose from different three different kinds of retopology, but in this case we are going to use reform as this one is the best in this case. Just change regularized one as it's gonna make the mesh more regular. Now choose face count. So in this case we can lower it to 2000 and click compute. And that's it. In a matter of second you got um, perfectly or maybe just fine mesh. So you don't have to create topology by hand, just click select few options and click compute. You can of course lower the face count to 1000 to get lower poly mesh. So it's quite nice and uh, this is just alternative and um, I'm going to use uh, the first way when it comes to um, this tutorial. So we are going to back to 3D Studio Max 17. And we are back. One important thing before we continue, if you use 3D Studio Max 2022 or above, you can preserve your UV mapping while using retopology modifier, which is huge improvement. Now let's check our UV mapping. Select your mesh, go to modifier list and select U unwrap UVW map. Click on open UV editor and you will see your map from Marvel's designer. All right, let's apply texture checker. In this case, click on dr drop down menu and choose texture checker. It will apply onto our mesh 
and as you can see it needs improvement it stretch in a few places so let's relax our UV mapping to do this go to tools and click relax start relaxing and you will see that our UV mapping is more organic and it's it looks better on our mesh to add more resolution to our texture I will enlarge our UV mapping to entire panel let's just check it out okay so this is back this is front and let's just rotate this one all right now each panel will have different material ID to get better resolution now you could apply IDs here just select one panel and choose your map your texture ID or you can do this later I will show you how but before doing that we have to export our UV mapping to do this go to tools render UV template type type your width and height um, you can choose if you want to export all tiles or just choose one and hit render and of course save all right let's continue now when it comes to materials let's apply them go to material tab choose multi sub object material and you will prob probably have all the materials that IMVU re requires and pay attention to the names of the materials so you will have suffix here which is zero which is upper body and um, you will have all the different materials like skin which is important it is it is always seven so it should be always seven but we have three different materials for entire t-shirt so we can use those three slots and apply them so you can right click and you can assign this to selection we have to select our mesh and do this again you can always go to materials id and select them within uv editor of course and just wait a while and of course select material and apply different materials so if you apply different colors or materials you will see the difference here I will do this off camera now one final step before exporting we have to weight our t-shirt to body so again let's get our toolkit back clothing tool and now we have to just bind to armature so click bind to armature and you should see clothing skin so let's just hide the toolkit again now let's go and check our weighting does it work properly well it doesn't work bad right but you can always improve it just go to editable poly select your mesh and let's return to skin now click edit envelopes and select vertices now you can do paint weights so this is just improving the areas that needs to be well improved so if you hold shift and control and drag your mouse you will increase the increase the brush brush size and if you hold shift and alt you will increase or decrease the strength of the of the brush of course you have to drag your mouse now there is another way to do the skin let's remove clothing skin modifier and go to modifier list and find skin wrap apply it click on add and choose the body part you want to add so in our case this is the torso the top of our avatar as you can see we have clothing female naked top and, and click again add to unclick this uncheck uh, one thing that you can add multiple body parts so if you have entire outfit you can add bottoms as well and it will just stack here and over here we have two different deformation engines vertex deformations which is vertex proximity to uh, drive deformation and we also have 
face deformation, which is uh, simpler, and each vertex is tied to the closest face in the base object. So in this case, we can use face deformation because the mesh is very simple. And let's go and click weight all points and we can convert to skin. Now, before exporting, let's check if our T should work properly with the avatar. You can always paint weights and check this before converting skin wrap into skin. Now, before exporting, check if your edges of the body of the mesh has correct values. And of course, your mesh should be always placed in clothing export folder. Now, before exporting, hit limit bones and click export. And you exported your first mesh. Now, in the next tutorial, we will import the mesh to IMVU Studio. So, check it out.